Good afternoon, you guys. Good afternoon. Let me get the camera. It's gonna wibble wobble. So we're trying to, I'm trying to fix the camera if it's moving on you. We'll just leave it right there, I think. <laughs> Good afternoon, you guys. Hello, how are you? How is everybody today on this humid day? It feels really humid out. I haven't even looked to see what the temperature is, but I know it is humid, humid, humid out. How are you? How are you doing? Let's see who all we can get in here today. Um, I know many people are at work. Usually I am. Um, I have today off because Friday is my holiday. So I'll have Friday off for my holiday. And they were like, well, you still have to have a day off th throughout the week. So I got today off. I got a four day weekend, you guys. I'm super pumped. I'm super excited. I'm ready to get some makeup on though. I need to get a little bit of uh, makeup on. Hi, Holly. Um, I need to film some videos, you guys. So um, in order to do that, I need a little bit of uh, makeup on. I don't wanna go on there looking like this. So I thought, why not go live with you guys and chit chat and see what's going on, have a drink. So um, you guys, I got my central air fixed. Oh my gosh. It feels so great in the house right now. They just, thank you, Holly. Um, they just fixed it this morning. Um, so the first two, three hours this morning, the guys were in, in here um, getting that fixed. So I have central air, but um, I'm so used to it being hot in here now that I almost feel cold. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna have to, um, turn the temperature up so where it kicks off um, way earlier than what I used to ever have it set on. It's set on 72 right now. It's 76 in the house and I'm starting to get chilly. That's because I've been living in 80 degree weather. <laughs> 80, 81 degree weather for I don't know how, you know, I don't know how many weeks now. So um, 76 is starting to get cold. So I'm probably, after this video, I'm probably going to go out there and turn it off or you know turn it to where it shuts off <clears throat> or something anyways so let's get a face on today but you guys you know oh I gotta tell you this really cool story so far um okay so I've been really 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 worried about how am I gonna pay for this new central air unit like I can't do this I financially can't do it I'm financially strapped the way it is how can I add any more bills to my list what am I gonna do well, you know, um, I, I'm a believer in praying and just like, it's like, okay, just like, we just got to fix it and we got to go on. It's life. Um, we just got to, I just got to do this um, because I don't want to live in this smoldering heat, um, kind of spoiled, I guess, or whatever. <clears throat> so today, after the guys left, um, yeah, I know. After the guys left from installing my central air unit, they, of course they came in the house and turned it on and made sure it ran okay and all that. And they were like, well, do you know you have a window open in the basement? And I'm like, yeah, because my central air, my old central air unit was freezing up when I would try to run it. So when I would shut it off, it would melt. So there was water on the basement floor um, so I was trying to dry that out so it wouldn't get mildewy down there. And, um, one of the workers told me, no, you need to go shut that window to keep the humidity out and to keep the moisture out. And I'm like, yeah, but what about all the dampness down in the basement now? So he was like, you need to go get a, a dehumidifier. So that'll be next on my list. Long story short, I've got boxes of stuff in the basement from when I moved here that... I need to go through and just pitch, put it in the trash, put it to Goodwill, whatever I gotta do with it, I gotta get rid of it because it's just been down there since I lived here. Now the cartons, the cardboard cartons are kinda like, I don't know, I'm afraid they're kinda like, they smell like mildew and I just don't want them down there no more. I don't want them down there collecting dust or collecting stuff. So I grabbed one of the boxes 
and brought it up here to start sorting through it to see what was in it. And I opened it up and there was a little box inside. So I opened the little box up inside and there was like four Beanie Babies, TY Beanie Babies, um, all in the cartons, all in the packaging, still sealed up just like they were when the, the day we got them or whoever, however we got them, I don't know. Because um, my one time my daughter was into TY um, Beanie Babies and it seemed like everywhere we went we bought her one. And um, so I pulled up eBay and I was getting ready to list these things on eBay and I was, look, I was looking to see what they were selling for. These things are selling for $500 to $1,000 a piece. And I've got four of them. Yeah, I gotta get that. I know, I gotta, gotta, I gotta get it cleaned up down there and I gotta get a dehumidifier, I guess. Um, but anyways, these Beanie Babies, they're on, eBay, they're on eBay as sold. I checked the sold, you know, how you can filter it and you can look at what sold and the prices that things sold for. These Beanie Babies sold for like 500, anywhere from 500, 700 to $1,000 a piece. And I've got four of them. It's like, oh my gosh, this might be a way for me to pay for my central air that I've been freaking out about. So, of course, I listed them. I've got them listed. Now we'll wait and see if I get any nibbles or if I get any buyers. So I'll keep you posted on that. But, um... That will be a huge blessing if I can get those sold and just automatically pay for this central air unit. Um, but yes, I need to get down in the basement and clean out everything and um, scrub it and sweep it and all that. And then I need to check around for dehumidifiers. So if you guys know of any places that have them pretty cheap or um, anybody that's selling one, that's a that's good you know nothing that won't work of course I need one I need one bad but anyways okay so let's get on with the makeup so I'll keep you posted on that whether any of those beanie babies sell and how much they sell for I'm kind of excited like when I seen it I was like oh my gosh like oh my gosh this could pay for my central air this has got to be I'm hoping this is a sign from God <laughs> that I just, these, I don't know how long these Beanie Babies have been down in the basement. Like, and now I bring them up and they're, they're showing that they're worth a lot of money. So, I'm, I'm like this. So, all right, today I'm going to use my 1.5% Hyaluronic Acid instead of the um, Aqua Belief for my, um, yeah, Aqua Bomb um, for my hydration today. Um, 1.5% hyaluronic acid has so much beneficial properties in it to hydrate your skin. And I've been out in the sun quite a bit often here. Um, I went to a reunion yesterday, a family reunion. And then after the family reunion, I went back to my sister-in-law's house. Okay. I figured I'd check Walmart, Menards, Lowe's, all them to see what the prices are on them. Of course, I gotta wait until I get paid. Um, well, well, which will be this weekend, so it's not too far away. Um, but yeah, I've never had one running down there. I've never used one, so it's new to me. I don't know what they normally run. And I didn't know sometimes you see them on. Um, Yard sale sites where people move or something then don't need one anymore. I didn't know. So I'm using this 1.5% hyaluronic acid not only on my face but also on my arms. Because I've noticed my arms have been kind of like not flaky. Not like they're really flaking real bad. But I can see dry skin specks on my arm. Because I've been out in the sun quite a bit. Um, I've been in um, several pools here lately. I'm putting more on because I just want it to soak in. I want it to really get in there and get hydrated. So I am doing that, rubbing the excess on the back of my hands. That is a, locks in the moisture and um, it will really help hydrate your skin. Even arms, even legs. It's for your face, 
but there's nothing wrong with using it for the skin on your arms or your legs as well. With that being said, I wanted to point out that our new Kiss Me Cushion products, the Kiss Me Cushion Blush and the Kiss Me Cushion high, um, Highlighter and the bronzer, which he's right here. These have hyaluronic acid in them. So even though it's a makeup item, you are gonna get skincare benefits out of these new items. I think that's really cool that um, they were able to put that product, that skincare product in these items for us to give us that extra protection, that extra hydration to your skin. All right, today I'm gonna use the Magic's Tint because I'm gonna go light today. Um, I'm gonna get some tint on here, but I wanna go light. So we are gonna put the Magic's Tint on. And that way I have a light coverage, but nothing extreme with the Magic's Tint. Whoops, let's turn around. Mine's in light medium is the shade that I got for this. And again, this is a moisturizer. So it is going to moisturize your face, but it has tint to it to give you that coverage as well. But it's gonna be a light coverage. It's not full coverage. Um, but it is awesome to have it for summertime. I love it for summer. I even wore it in the winter there for a while um, because I do love it. I love the way it hydrates my skin, it helps keep it moisturized. And it does give me enough coverage but again, it's gonna be light. So like my age spot right here, it probably will show through because it's not full coverage foundation. But it will also help moisturize your skin as you use it. Great product for the summer, great product. So we're gonna do this, do this. So yeah, I gotta like start working on cleaning out that basement and seeing what I gotta do to clean it. I don't know if I need to like spray bleach water down there and scrub it or what I've got to do. I may have to call um, the place back where I got the central air and ask them, I mean, what, what would they recommend? I don't see any mold yet at this time, but of course I wanna get to it before it creates mold. With all this humidity, I'm sure it could happen real easy. So, all right, there you go. You see, I it gave me like a natural skin tone look, but it's light. As you can see, you can still see my age spots and all that, it's really light. But what I like to do, you can either use the Magic's Wand on the areas that you want covered up or underneath the eyes you could also use, now you could have used this, the vitamin C brightening serum underneath the foundation um, to get rid of um, age spots and dark circles and to brighten that area, but I forgot to use it. So we're gonna skip that. And I'm gonna go straight into the Magic's Wand. And this is in Marshmallow, which is a shade lighter than what I typically my foundation shade is, so this is gonna also act like a highlighter. Now you could get your actual foundation shade and not highlight anything at all, but yet have coverage under here. But I also like to highlight a little. So I went um, a shade or two lighter. <clears throat> so we're gonna blend this in. And when I say um, blend this in, we're gonna tap. Um, before on my foundation, sometimes I get kind of crazy with it and I kind of swipe. Well, on this, we're gonna tap because I don't wanna swipe it away and I don't wanna move highlight down to here. So we're just gonna type, tap this in, if I can talk. And the more you tap, the more it's gonna blend into that foundation. Um, about the foundation though, it acts like a BB cream. If you are familiar with BB creams, 
the tinted um, Magix Tint Moisturizing uh, Foundation acts like a BB cream. So there. So now I've got a little bit of a light area up here and the age spot is covered a little bit more. Um, if I wanted that totally covered, I can go in thicker with the Magix Wand and not blend it out as much, but I am not concerned about that. It is what it is today. And we are going to do a light makeup look for summer. And try to keep everything light as if um, you would if you were just going to the pool or going out and you don't want a real heavy coverage because of the heat and the, you know, how it is in the summer. Let me find a shade of eyeshadow though here. <clears throat> but again, we're going to keep everything light. Okay. Okay, I am going to use, I have this kind of like peachy color on today. So you could go, I could go up. I like to coordinate my eyeshadow with what I'm wearing. Sometimes you don't have to. Today's trends are being completely different. You don't always have to co coordinate things like you used to have to back in the 80s and the 90s. We were all about coordinating shades. Um, so I think I will go with Orange Crush to um, kind of offset this peachy color that I have in my shirt. But like I said, you could even go with browns. Browns would be beautiful with this um, color shirt, anything. And matter of fact, I might throw a brown in there now that I said brown. Let me see. Hmm. So I spent part of the morning today trying to message people about me needing their email address. I mean, Avon um, just announced this the other day to us that come July 31st, they're like switching our system over or something. And if there is not an email address on the customers that we've created in the system, that customer won't, that customer information will not move over into this new upgrade or whatever we're getting. <clears throat> so I'm thankful that they're upgrading and getting us new stuff, but it's like, oh no, do not take my customer history away. Because, um, you know, I can go back into, anybody that's ordered from me, I can go back into your orders and see what you've ordered from me before. So, for example, let's say someone calls me up and says, Teresa, I need another lipstick. And I love that last one that I had that was a red color, but I can't see what the name of it was. Well, I'm not going to remember. <laughs> so, I always go into the history of that customer and I can real easily see, oh, you ordered da-da-da-da-da. And I, then I can go and look and make sure we still have it. Is it in stock? What price is it today? If I don't have an email address on that customer, I'm going to lose all that information. Um, so I um, have been working this morning on contacting some people, contacting businesses that I deal with. Um, because a lot of times I'll go into a business and I'll drop off four or five books. And then people in the office will place orders. Well, I don't go get their home address. I don't go get their email address or anything like that. I just got their name and sometimes not even their phone number, usually the number to the business because I deal with the receptionist or whatever. And I'll just take their, pro their orders in to the receptionist and she'll hand me money and I leave. Well, now I have to have email addresses on all of those people. So I've been trying to get Ever, been starting on it at least because I've been with Avon for like 14 years so I've got a lot a huge database of people let me see all right so 
I'm going to go in with this orangey. This is a duo um, eyeshadow duo in Orange Crush. So it's just an orange and a white cream shimmer. Both of these are shimmer. And then for a brown, I might top it off with um, one of these down here from Chocolate Sensation Quad. And that we're gonna but we're gonna keep it light and we're just gonna make it like easy. So I'm touching that orange on a big fluffy brush, pretty big. And I'm gonna put this in my crease. So I've been trying to work on that while they were fixing my air. Because I did not want to be in their way and I didn't want to be like, I don't know. I just sat at the computer desk working on stuff. Okay, so now we're coming over here and putting some of that orange over here. Now, this is buildable, of course. You can make it as dark or light as you like. Some people like it really light, really faint. Some people like it darker than that. And then some people want a full on glam. So, but the more I swipe back and forth, the lighter it will get and the more blended it will get. I just gotta make sure that they're the same on both eyes. Matter of fact, we may just use two shades today. If not two, three, but maybe two. All right, so there's that. Now I got a message from Messenger coming down where I can't even see my face. All right, so coming, I come up high with it because of my hooded eyes. Depending on your eye shape, you may not need to come so high. with it. So there's that. And that's just going to offset the peach that's in my shirt. Okay. And then <clears throat> I'm going to come in with my angle brush and I'm going to tap into this brown on the Chocolate Sensations. So yeah, if anybody has any ideas how to clean this out of my basement to make sure we're okay, shoot me a message or let me know here or something. Okay, I'm starting on the outer corner with this brown and just like working it in, like not adding more to the brush, but taking what I already had and just working it in so that it's gonna be darker over here and the more I work in, it's gonna go lighter. Doing the same over here. And making sure everything looks okay. And but trying to keep it the same on both sides. And if you needed to, you could always come in with that orange color and add it to the top of this brown. If you like, if you say, oh, I went up too high, now you can't see my orange. You can always come back in with that other brush and touch that up. So when I get done with this, I need to do a video, if I can, before 
um, my boyfriend arrives home from work because it, although I can come in here when he's home, it's just so much, you know how it is, ladies. It's easier to do things when the guys aren't in the house. So I am touching this orange up a little bit. It's easier to clean the house. It's easier to get stuff done when they are not home. So that's all I'm going to try to do. And then I've got an Avon order that I got to package up and finish calling some people to make deliveries. And then back to work tomorrow. So Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I'm probably going to be swamped at work because of having all these days off. But then I'll have Friday off for the holiday. So it's going to be nice. Not that I'm going anywhere for the holiday. <laughs> I'll be sitting right here in my air <laughs> since I have to pay for that. Oh, I might go to garage sales. I love going to garage sales, you guys. And now that they're starting to have them again, I'm putting the orange down here underneath just to like put some color there. I might go to garage sales if there is any decent to go to. But other than that, I'll probably be right here soaking up this central air. All right, now. I like to take my blending and go like this because it makes it just makes me feel better that everything's in a line, nothing is out of its place. It kind of like draws that angle. You could actually put I've seen people put scotch tape here and then put their eyeshadow on. I usually just clean it up with this. Okay. And I'm probably like not going to put a whole lot more color on because I want to go light today. But I am going to put my eyeliner on, which will make it look like, like it's more. So I'm going to go with my Mega Effects that I love. And I'm going to draw right close to the lashes and get that liner on here. If I can see... I gotta put my mirror down and then hold my hand still. Okay, so see that just darkens that up. And then going over on this side. Right along the lashes. And down. Giving myself a little bit of a wing there. Not much, just a little bit. Nothing too glamorous today. Okay, so there's that. And then some waterproof eye, or mascara. I started to say eyeliner. Waterproof mascara. This is a love at first lash, but it's waterproof. For the hot, sticky summer days. Just a light coat on these lashes today, nothing heavy. Nothing glam. If I was going to glam it up, I would try to get them to the eyebrows. But I'm not glamming it today because it's too hot, too sticky, too everything. And I might go out to the pool later. And when I say the pool, it's nothing fancy. It's a kiddie pool. And I go out and sit in it. But it's actually pretty nice. It's one of those um, 10 feet blow up things, 10 feet rectangular things. 
I got one this year from Walmart before they sold out for $24.99, $24.99 I think is what it was. So I got that and I filled that up and it's nice out there. And I, I got a, um, a floaty that I can just lay perfectly right in that rectangle and just lay right there on top of the water. So nice. <laughs> the things we do. All right, I'm gonna put the bronzer on, our new bronzer. If you haven't seen me use it before, it's a cushion foundation, cushion bronzer, I almost said foundation. It's the same technology as our cushion foundation in that we have a cushion here that we have to press down on to release some product. And we're gonna bronze the cheeks up to warm them up. I may not even do brush today, or blush today. And Sorry, a message came in and it threw me off. We will see, we're, we might just be a bronzing glow and that will be that. Cause you don't have to do too much on now. My phone said it's about out of juice. So we gotta hurry. We're gonna bronze this up. Bronzing is just warming up the face, putting shading on your face to make it look warmer and creating the shades of, to create the optical illusions of your cheekbones are um, extended out more. When you put a shade right here, it makes your cheekbones show more. If you put shade right here, it curves out that chin Helps you not have a double chin. And shading on the side of the nose helps makes the nose look thinner. And across the top makes your forehead appear smaller. Or it looks like you was um, out in the sun and you know the sun hit here, the sun hit here, all that. So that's why you're bronzed. So I love this bronzer. Again, the new products have hyaluronic acid in it. So it's not only a makeup, but it's also a benefit to my skin today. I'm just like tapping everything and make sure everything's blended. But that is about it. I'm gonna put a little fine tint of something on my lips. This is our, um, birthday balm this is in birthday suit so it's going to be really fine as light it's really going to satiny it's going to make my lips appear glossier but the color in this is um, pretty light so we're going to do this you can see it I can see it at least, but it's not a real bold color. It's just a real pretty summer shade, I think. See there? That is birthday suit. I love it. All right, so that's my look. I've got today, get this hair, something done with the hair. I don't know, but there, that's just a really quick light look. You don't even have to go this dark with the eyeshadow if you don't want to go this dark. You could like keep the brown lighter than what I did it, and that would make the whole look appear lighter. Um, you could do the um, orange to make it look peachy and a really light brown instead of our dark brown. All right, so that's all I have today. I'm getting ready to go finish up my Avon orders and do all that I need to do. All right, I'll see you guys back on the next video. If you have any questions about any Avon products, please shoot me a message. I'm here for you. I am constantly trying to grow my business, so if you have any girlfriends that you think would enjoy watching makeup tutorials like this or they would like to see the Avon products, whether it be Bath & Body, um, get them in here, tag them or forward this to them and say, hey, you might wanna check this out and see if you wanna join this page. Um, 
So that will greatly help me because I'm really trying to grow my business. Um, I'm really trying to earn more money from home. Um, and I'm really trying to get out of debt this year. And then I just had to go further in debt. But anyways, so anyways, I would appreciate anything you can do for me, whether you make a purchase or not. I appreciate you being here, commenting, liking, sharing, and all that as well. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys on the next video.